Let's look at this question on quadratic equation that involves the proof of a particular equation. Okay. Now the, the question here says if one root of the equation px squared plus qx plus r is equal to zero is three times the other root, show that 3q squared is equal to 16pr. All right, that's the question. So how do we solve this question? Now, when it comes to the proof of a, or when it comes to the roots of a quadratic equation, record that a quadratic equation usually has two roots, okay? Okay, so how do we solve this question? First is first, solution. Um, solution. Solution. Um, this. All right. Now the question says, um, if one of the roots of the equation, px squared plus qx plus r is equal to zero, is three times the other root. So let's let's assume something for the first root. So we'll say let the first root, let the first root, this one here, be equal to what there? Alpha. Let's call this the first root. Now they said is three times the other root. Hence, let the second root be equal to the third the first root is three times the other so if the first root is alpha the second root becomes three times the first root which is three times alpha and that's equal to three alpha all right so therefore the roots are alpha and three alpha these two are the roots of the equation so we have this these are the roots of the equation alpha and 3 alpha all right we ask to show that or prove that 3q squared is equal to 16 pr all right and how do we solve this our first task would be to list out or write out the given quadratic equation which is px squared so p x squared this plus qx so plus qx plus r plus r it's equal to zero then we, after this we have to pick out the value of a b and c and we know that a is simply equal to the coefficient of x squared which is simply the number or the alphabet attached to x squared and that's p b is equal to the coefficient of x that's simply the number or alphabet attached to x and that's q and c equal to your constant term that's the term without an x attached to it, which is r. So c is equal to what there? r. Let's get sum of roots. If we do the sum of roots, um, sum of roots would be equal to, what are the roots? The roots are alpha and 3 alpha. So if I add this, it becomes alpha plus 3 alpha is equal to, record that sum of roots from a previous class is given by um, minus b over a so that's minus b all over a that's the formula for sum of roots okay it's a constant term if you miss that our first class on quadratic equation i'll leave a link in the video description all right so check video description you see a link to our first class on quadratic equation where i explain this concept but one thing you should notice is that when it comes to sum of roots your formula is minus b over a okay it's a constant that becomes minus so i'm having minus what's the value of b if you look at this b is equal to q that becomes minus q all over what a the value of a is p so it becomes minus q all over p working on this you can see that um alpha plus three alpha so what this means is simply that alpha plus three alpha gives you four alpha because the value here is one so it becomes one plus three so you can say four alpha is equal to this one here minus q over p that's minus q all over p sorry all over p let's get the value of alpha from here if you have to get the value of alpha here what i'll simply do is to multiply this by one over four multiply this by one over four this cancels this so alpha will be equal to minus q times one is minus q all over p times four is four p so all over 4p. This is the value of alpha. Uh, let's call this equation 1. All right, so this is what we get when we do the sum of roots. Okay, let's go the next in there, product of roots. Let's look at product of roots. 
So um, products of roots. When we say product, we mean multiplication. So it becomes the first root alpha multiplying the second root three alpha. Again, product of root has a formula. The formula is simply C all over A. All right. So note that this is also a constant. The product of root is given by C over A. What C? C is um, R. You can see this here. R. That's C. R all over A is what the P. So that becomes R over P. So I'm having this as R all over P. Let's work on this. Alpha multiplying 3 alpha is 3 alpha squared is equal to what there? R all over P. All right, so we have this. Let's call this equation 2. Now, equation 2 tells us that 3 alpha squared is equal to R over P. Equation 1, one tells us that the value of alpha is minus Q over 4P. What if I substitute? Let me put equation 1 into equation 2. I'm doing a substitution. So what would I have there? I will have that 3 um, from 2, we have 3 alpha squared. That becomes 3 into the value of alpha all squared. What's the value of alpha? Alpha is minus Q over 4P. So 3 into minus Q all over 4P. That's the value of alpha all squared. So what I have now is the value of 3 alpha squared is equal to, from my question or from this equation, is equal to R over P. So I have this as R all over P. So I have this. Let's try to simplify this. I will have this as 3 into minus Q squared is simply minus Q times minus Q. Minus times minus is plus. Q times Q is Q squared. I'm having this as plus Q squared or Q squared all over 4P all squared. That's denominator now. 4P all squared. Right? If you do that, what do you have? It becomes 4P multiplied by 4P. And that's equal to 4 times 4 is 16. P times P is P squared. So it becomes 16p squared. I have this is equal to r all over p. Let's expand this term here. 3 times q squared is 3q squared all over 16p squared is equal to r all over p. At this point now, what we have to do is cross multiply. Okay, so this times this, which is 3q squared, 3q squared times p, it's equal to this times this, 16p squared times r. So I have this. If I work on this, this becomes 3q squared p is equal to 16p squared r. So we have this. Now note that if you have the same term on both sides of an equation, they can cancel out. So on the left hand side, you can see P here. On the right hand side, you can see P here, although squared, but P still exists. So what do I do here? I will divide this and also divide this by the term common between both sides, which is P and P. And if I do this from here, this will now become 3Q squared. P cancels P is off, is equal to 16. P here, 1. This is P squared. Cancel here, you have what there? P. So it becomes 16P, and then we have the R left there. 16PR. So this is what we have um, after doing a substitution. And if you go back to check your question, this is exactly the same thing we're asked to prove. All right, going back to our question, prove that, um, what is this? This one here, 3Q squared is equal to 16PR. And that's exactly the same thing as you have here. All right, so this is your proof that 3q squared is equal to 16pr if one of the roots of the equation is three times the other for the quadratic equation px squared plus qx plus r equals to zero. All right, all right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button to like this video. Okay, leave a comment. For the comments, tell us if you enjoyed the video. If you have other questions, leave it in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe. Please do well to subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all 
so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Don't forget to visit my website, www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses to check out the available courses on my website. And you can also check www.jonahimani.com forward slash books to see the available books. All right, so you can proceed to create an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books that you may need. You can also join my channel membership, all right, to gain access to exclusive content. I'll leave a link to join my channel membership as well as a link to my website in the video description, all right? All right, guys, thank you and see you in our next class.